Today we are going to the recording studio to learn a little bit about film dubbing and recording. We are a missionary family and my dad is a recording technician. He usually records Bibles from different languages in Papua New Guinea. But he also does film dubbing where he takes somebody's voice and puts it into the film that usually is originally in English and puts a Papua New Guinean language instead. So today we are going to witness him doing some film dubbing. This is just a simple health video that's about five or six minutes long. All right, let's get to it. So here's the script. This part is in talk piece, and that's what we'll be recording. And the English, that's the original in English. So right here, this is the video we are going to do. What to feed young children? Nutritious first foods are prepared from a variety of food groups and are rich in energy and key nutrients. The team isn't quite here yet, so my dad will give us a quick tour of the recording studio. And the person who's being recorded will listen through those headphones to the team on the other side. So this screen right here is the same. And it's the big one up there. This screen, okay. Why are these big mattresses and sponges around? Uh, they're for reducing echoes. So that the sound quality of the recording is as good as possible. So I have region markers in the recording program that correspond to the lines on the script over here. Okay. So that way I can tell exactly where each of the lines needs to go in the video. That's cool. So the video track is down here. It's an orange one. Okay. So in the end, it will be, we'll be combining this video, and then this track is the, the sound, the background sound effects and the music for the video. And then we'll be putting in the narration. Okay. In talk prison, right? In talk prison, yeah. Everybody in this room goes to this microphone, or speaks into this microphone. It goes through this blue cord. So you can see on this side, there's the soundboard. goes up, and it goes into this microphone. So the person talking into the microphone and seeing, watching the screen can hear what they're seeing in the other side of the room. So the voice of the person inside the recording booth comes through the speaker and then also whenever we play back for them, for everybody to listen to, goes through the speaker and then also the headphones inside. Okay. So that they can like get a hint or something like how the video should go? Well, uh, mostly just to, they, you have to listen to what you record and make sure it's correct. To make sure it's correct, you have to catch these little things words missed out or um, mistakes of any kind. Gotcha. Or little noises, you know, if they, somebody makes a noise in there, tap their foot against the music stand or whatever. Or if there's noise from outside, sometimes that comes in too. Oh yeah, uh, we'll like hear, construction we'll workers. <laughs> construction workers, trucks, airplanes, motorcycles, lawnmowers. Rain on the roof, thunder, and there's a number of things. That... This room is pretty quiet, but it's not perfect. It's keeping everything on. Right. So today is a perfect day for recording because I don't see any construction workers. And there's no lawn work outside and yeah, no they, rain. <laughs> they were mowing the grass this morning, so that's all done. That's excellent. So. Now let's look into what a sound mixer does. Yes, sir. Okay. And it really doesn't do very much. Yeah. It's only controlling that microphone and the headphones inside there and the speaker. Okay. So it's just for 
passing sound between this room, the control room, and the recording booth room. So what is this called? This is a USB audio interface. So it takes the micro sound from the microphone and converts it to a digital signal, which is picked up by the computer. Okay. And then also when we play back, it goes through the system and you can hear it through the speakers. So that's, this is really the heart of the, the whole recording setup. Wow. So that's how you get the sound into and out of the computer. Next episode, we will get to meet the team and see some recording action.